If we drop a little stone in a pond of still water, the water surface gets disturbed. The disturbance does not remain confined to one place, but propagates outward along forming ripples in the form of concentric circles. If we put some pieces of cork on the disturbed surface, it seems as if cork move up and down but in fact not moving away from the center of disturbance. It is the energy that is moving in the form of wave. So we can say that not the particle of the medium but the wave is a form of disturbance that carries energy moving from one point to another. Wave motion is of two types, one is transversal and second is longitudinal wave. A mechanical wave in motion involves oscillations of constituents particles of the medium. If the constituents of the medium oscillate perpendicular to the direction of wave propagation, we call the wave a transverse wave. If they oscillate along the direction of wave propagation, we call the wave a longitudinal wave. Let a single wave called pulse is at a distance of x from origin, and is moving with speed v towards right at t equals 0. We define the wave pulse as y equals f t. Now as we know at a v equals x upon t. Therefore at a t equals x upon v hence at o. x equals 0 in time is t x upon v. Therefore at the origin o. y equals f t x upon v. Hence when the wave is moving from left to right y equals f t minus x opo n v. And from right to left y equals f t plus x upon v. Here, equation y equals f, t minus x upon v, represents a traveling wave or progressive wave, which is moving in the positive x direction with a constant speed v. Now the condition that a function is said to be periodic is f, a plus k, equals f, a, for all k greater than 0. After this value of k the function will repeat itself. For example periodicity of y equals sine theta is 2 pi since, sin 2 pi plus theta equals sine theta let us give a vertical jerk to the free end o of a string tied at a dot the elements of the string oscillate up and down to the size of the pulse the pulse will damp out before it reaches the other end reflection from the end at a is ignored but when we give a continuous up and down jerk a wave train is produced that strike the other end at A and is reflected. The resulting wave is periodic called a harmonic or sinusoidal wave. Let us consider a transversal wave. Y x t equals r sin k x minus omega t is traveling along x axis. As shown in the picture distance between two crest at two troughs is called wavelength usually denoted by lambda. Taking phi equals 0, the displacement at t equals 0 is given by y x 0 equals r sin k x. Now as we see, sin k x equals sin k x plus 2 n pi equals sin k x plus 2 pi k. Therefore, distance between the two crest is given by lambda equals x jor 2 pi upon k minus x equals 2 pi upon k implies that lambda equals 2 pi upon k hence k equals 2 pi upon lambda here now we shall try some numericals the first one is a wave traveling along a string is described by y x t equals 0 0.005 sine 80.0 x minus 3.0 t calculate a the amplitude b the wavelength and c the period and frequency of the wave. Also, calculate the displacement y of the wave at a distance x equals 30.0 cm. Here the traveling wave is given as y equals 0 0.005 sin 80x minus 3t. Comparing this equation by y equals r sin kx minus omega t, we see that Amplitude R equals 0 0.005 meters K equals 80 omega equals 3 radians per second. A. Amplitude equals 5 millimeters B. As we know lambda equals 2 pi upon K equals 2 times 22 divided by 7 times 80 equals 7.85 centimeters C. T equals 2 pi upon omega equals 2 guna bice upon 7 times 3 equals 44 upon 21 equals 2.09 s. A transverse harmonic wave on a string is described by y, x, t 
equals 3 sin 36 t plus 0 0.018 x plus pi upon 4 where x and y are in centimeter and t is in second the positive direction of x is from left to right the wave is traveling from right to left b the speed of the wave is 20 meters upon s c frequency of the wave is 5 dashamlav sat hertz d the least distance between two successive crests in the wave is 2.5 centimeters let us compare the given wave y x t equals 3 sin 36 t plus 0 0.018 x plus pi upon 4 with y equals r sin kx minus omega t plus phi a wave traveling from right to left since omega t is given positive b as seen omega equals 36 k equals the shamlav shunya ekat lambda equals 2 pi upon k equals 2 pi upon the shamlav shunya ekat and also omega equals 2 pi n hence n equals omega upon 2 pi equals 36 upon 2 pi therefore v equals n lambda equals 36 upon 2 pi into 2 pi upon the shamlav shunya ekat equals 20 c omega equals 2 pi n therefore n equals omega upon 2 pi equals 36 into 7 upon 2 into 22 equals 5.7 hertz d lambda equals 2 pi upon k equals 2 into 22 upon 7 into the shamlav shunya ekat equals 3.48 meters which is not matching with though the shamlav patch hence d is not true in the given progressive wave y equals 5 sin 100 pi t minus 0 0.4 pi x where y and x are in m t is in s what is the uh, amplitude b wavelength c frequency d wave velocity a particle velocity amplitude given equation as y equals 5 sin 100 pi t minus 0 0.4 pi x comparing with y equals r sin omega t minus kt we see r equals 5 m k equals 0.4 pi omega equals 100 pi a amplitude r equals 5 m t r b wave length lambda equals 2 pi upon k equals 2 pi upon 0.4 pi equals 5 meter c as we know omega equals 2 pi n therefore frequency n equals omega upon 2 pi equals 100 pi upon 2 pi equals 50 hertz d wave velocity v equals n lambda equals 50 guna 5 equals 250 meters per second a for particle velocity differentiating with respect to t dy upon dt equals cos 100 pi t minus 0 0.4 pi x 100 pi minus 0.4 pi dx upon dt for maximum amplitude cos 100 pi t minus 0 0.4 pi x equals 1 implies that 100 pi t minus 0 0.4 pi x equals 0 implies that x equals 500 meters.